here in Millbourne Port. This wonderful heavy oak door just shows you the charm of this traditional period cottage. I'm really looking forward to showing you around. Why don't we start in the sitting room? I think what I love about this cottage is it's a house in all but name with these lovely big rooms, really generous size actually. And then you've got a cosy log burner in this, the more formal sitting room. And next, next door, we have a study. The view across the garden from the study is lovely and as you throw open these doors you can see right across, I'll show you outside later, but it really is pretty. And you can hear the sound of the waterfall in the distance there. And I think on a practical note, just over here is the guest cloakroom as well. So I'm not very discreet, just tucked behind. And then the rather elegant dining room. Come and have a look at this. This has to be the scene of many a successful dinner party. It looks absolutely lovely. And the space, I could imagine at Christmas, you could fill the room. And then this rather wonderful staircase sweeping up to the first floor. I love this room. Now, through here, it's also very practical because you've got the kitchen. So how about this for a kitchen? This has to be where it all happens. And if you, if you don't like cooking, surely you're going to want to learn with a kitchen like this. And I think this informal seating area it's just nice to use in the summer months, but perhaps it's not quite so formal. But the garden room is lovely. This is definitely a room to be seen. So just walking past the utility room next to the kitchen, and then into this lovely room. I think the sense of light and the natural timbers here just makes it such a fabulous room for just relaxing. I can see they've got a bird book there, so it's obviously a good place for spotting the odd swift or swallow. And just over there you can see a building which is also part of the house as well. It could be an annex, a games room, subject to the normal consents, all sorts of ideas. So coming up to the first floor, we have five bedrooms on this floor and two bathrooms. And then it's just little things like this lovely polished floorboarding, just adds to the character. So, I'll give you an idea of the size of some of the rooms if we can have a look at this one. So this room has a view across the other thatched house opposite here. And then it has an ensuite facility, a little shower room just at the side here. You can get a glimpse of the big bathtub as we walk past some of the bathrooms. This is another double bedroom you can choose. You might not be able to see it with a lovely view of the garden especially if you're waking up in the morning. And then through here is another bathroom. And what a lovely garden this is. You've got enough planting to give you some colour all year round, but equally it's not too much maintenance. And then to the right here was the building I mentioned earlier. Let's go have a look at the top level. having a glimpse of the Thatch Cottage. My name is Polly Greenway from Domus and I thoroughly look forward to showing you around.